<laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are doing a YouTube hop featuring the new collection from Tracy Reed. It is called Weekender and it kind of has, there's like two versions or maybe three versions of it. It's a travel themed collection, but she also made like extra journal cards and um, sticker sheets to make it more of like a food experience, like going out to eat at restaurants. And then she also made like a collection that was like staying local and staycation and checking out your town kind of vibe. So I appreciate that because actually other than my photos from Colombia, in which um, I kind of already documented I haven't gone anywhere, nor do I plan to go anywhere. And what's also funny is that, you know, we, we, we work a lot. And we don't eat out a lot <laughs> anymore. <laughs> so even the food one, I found a little bit, I was like, I can, what can I take a picture of? Like, where do we eat out? And I'm just like, dude, we don't eat out. So it, even for me, like to use the collections literally was a little hard. So I did appreciate though, don't mind the dog squeaking toy. That's Moana. I did appreciate, though, that the, like some of it was um, <clears throat> this thing about like staying local. So around here, I love local. And so, yeah, I, I appreciated some of these not so far from home. Um, go see do. So I printed out like the different sticker sheets. I printed out a few of the journal cards that I wanted to use. And then I have, I love the map, you know, a paper. And you can see the color scheme. It's definitely like a primary color rainbow color scheme. Love this one. And I also love this one with the skyline that says wander and wonder, day trip, around town, adventuring. So we are going to play in the Life Crafted album. So this is the Traveler's Notebook size, you know, outside the page protector. Um, this was one of my last projects using last month's collection, which was called A Flutter. Um, super cute. So we're going to continue on in this one. And work. Um, I took an interesting photo. <laughs> this is just from my car. Um, and like down my street. I live in Florida, so there's palm trees all the time everywhere. <clears throat> and so I, I think I just want to embrace that kind of thing, like staying local. You know, I try to keep me and my daughter active as possible with things that are around us nearby because you know you don't always have time to take a um a few hour long trip somewhere. So I liked this busier background to have here. And then I do think I want to bring in this one for the opposite side and then figure out my journaling and figure out the embellishing. So let's get started. I hope you stick around. I will leave everyone linked down below that's also in this hop. And let's get started. So let's get started. In order sometimes for my album to have more cohesiveness, I like to attach the previous projects page to the back of my current projects page. That way there is no like gaps in my album and it kind of will just flow as I've created them chronologically. That may bug some people, that could work for some people, it's just kind of what I find in my process. So for this one in particular, since it is a chronological thing, I want to have it, you know, um, I am attaching the previous project to the back. Now what I also realized in doing this is that I printed out the papers for this collection just on like 28 pay, uh, pound uh, paper, which didn't give it much sturdiness. So I had to back it on white cardstock first and then I adhered the pattern paper onto the actual project page. That was just a mistake on my end. Usually I do print it on cardstock already. That way it already has that uh, heavier weight that we need when we're crafting. So it was just like a snafu, but I easily remedied it and we continue on. So I just selected these cards together. These together were not on one cohesive page, just so that you know. Um, when you download the files, they are always available in the individual files as well in the folder that she provides. So it just helps so that if in case you don't want to print all the cards in the collection or only four out of the five interest you or something, you can just kind of copy and paste them. But And I make it just in, I work on a MacBook laptop so in pages it's easy and then you just make the you know the sizing of a three by four card so I loved the I love I heart local definitely wanted to use that embellishment and then I'm fussy cutting the rest of them out now what also is good in Tracy Reed's collections is that once you print out these sticker pages she does also provide the cut file for either your Cricut or Silhouette Cameo I'll be honest I have never used the cut file I actually like fussy cutting them out because sometimes I don't like having a white border around my die cuts. So I take the time to 
just fussy cut them out. But I know a lot of my team members and other scrappy gals uh, do use the cut file, so that makes it very easy. So there is that option, know that. Um, I just simply do not take part in it all the time, but it is there for your convenience. So I am definitely using the card not so far from home. Then the inside journaling card where I will have my journaling says uh, local adventure, I believe. And then I used another inside card as well so that it was definitely a flip up. Now, when you do flip ups, you can include another photo by all means. Um, for me, I just wanted to showcase a few more of the journal cards that are available. And I'm using a few more of the bits to make it into like the tab or the flap. You also see me here adding kind of a like a black belt uh, to my layout simply because those little bits that I was trying to have as the pull tabs for my flip up part were getting lost because I did choose such a busy pattern paper. So this I thought was just a quick fix. The black worked perfectly. And overall, I love the way this turned out. Definitely a good story to have in my albums about staying local. Okay, that will wrap this one up. I. I loved how this one came out. So, <laughs> so you saw me make like a few alterations in design plan um, simply because I printed out the, you know, the paper first on paper, not on cardstock and then too small because it gave it a little bit of a white border on the top and the bottom. But actually, you can't even really tell if I didn't admit that design uh, <laughs> uh, snafu and then backing it with some black just to kind of cancel out the busyness helped have these uh, shine through and using them as a little bit of a tab motion here um, really uses more of the elements from the collection and so not so far from home so because we were definitely just leaving our neighborhood and I'm deciding on what story to tell um, in the journaling like you know we do a lot of local things and I'm trying to just decide what I want to write about to save here or maybe I'm just gonna have to use the collection again and tell <laughs> those other stories too only because why i'm torn is because there's something really local it's called lion country safari i don't know if you've ever heard of it if you've been in the west palm beach area but literally it's like a drive through safari slash zoo there's lions there's you know water buffalo that you can see rhinoceros zebras valentina loves going and we now have annual passes because we live literally like 20 minutes from it now and we love doing that but I also love taking her because we like park hop around our neighborhood. <laughs> so there's a bunch of parks and we'll kind of do one today, one tomorrow, one the other day. And I like doing that with her too. So this could tell multiple stories. So I hope this was inspiring. I hope you get out of your house and do some exploring of your local neighborhood or city and use this collection to document those stories. Everyone is linked down below. Thank you always for joining me. Please subscribe if you have not done so. Give this video a thumbs up. And until next time, everyone, bye.